Okay, so uh, today we're going to do a little masking. Really pretty basic. I'm going to use my text tool um, and just create some text and type uh, 2D animation. And maybe flash. Um, a couple things I can do, obviously all our settings and properties are in here, center it, and then one thing I like to do is just run a alignment, make sure this ch uh, checkbox is set, center, center, and now I know it's center with the stage, um, anyway, so rename my layer as usual. And here, I'm just going to change my background color to blue. And I'm going to create my shape. This is going to be my mask, basically. Um, I'm just going to change it to black to differentiate the colors. And okay. So I'm going to just take this out to, in this case, one hundred and twenty frames. On here, I'm going to convert to symbol uh, shape mask, and I'm going to create a motion tween. Um, in this case, I'll just do like a like a weird sort of slow scroll, maybe or. Um, that's what I'll do. I'll have it go from left to right. And here, I'll just have it animate straight across the stage. So I play it back. Command return, you'll see I have this shape transforming across the stage. Now, the one thing I want to do is I want it to be a mask. So how you create a masking layer is just right click on that layer, click mask, and you'll see that it become, uh, your text layer becomes a little um, subfolder type to your original layer. So I hit command return, you'll see it scrolls on and off, and that's my mask. So you can see if I play it on the stage, it instantly becomes a mask. Now the cool thing about this is that um, in your preview you can actually see it right off the bat. But one thing, you, I'm not going to be able to select anything. Um, the reason that is is because it's locked. So as soon as I unlock it, then I can go ahead and see what's going on. But as soon as I lock it, it shows you what will be shown in the video. So um, that's all there is to it. Real simple, real basic. Um, and that's uh, masking.